Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a new suite in the new mini catalog. It is the Sweet Talk Suite, <laughs> and it has in it this cute Sweet Conversations stamp set, as well as the Sweetheart dies. Um, so in these dies, there's this cute little envelope die. It's teeny, teeny, tiny. <laughs> and then all of these different hearts and some cute little um, banner cut out and a tag cut out, just super cute and valentine-y. Um, also in the suite, let me show you how cute all the product in here is. There's these iridescent rhinestones. I don't know if you can see how iridescent these are, but they are beautiful and so shiny. Love them. There's also the gingham embossing folder, which is super cute. And this beautiful faux linen ribbon in real red. It's so pretty. And these cute, sweet little boxes that fold up into um, a little box kind of like the Conversation Hearts boxes. So, and they're all folded, pre-scored for you. So all you have to do is fold everything together. It already even has the adhesive on there. And you just fold it up together and put the box together. So easy. And then last but not least, some of my very favorite product is the Designer Series paper. Let me show you how cute this is. So on one side you have all the cute Valentiny images. You can see these are the cute conversation type hearts and they're suckers, cute, cute hearts, all that candy, so cute. And on the back side is more of the just plain patterned side. Lots of purple and pink and super duper cute. I love, love, love that paper. So I wanted to show you a few ideas that I've come up with using this suite, but I also wanted to give you a little tip on this cute little teensy tiny envelope die. So let me show you kind of what it looks like. Here's one sample that I came up with. You can see the little envelope here and you can see it's pretty small, really cute, totally adorable, but I wanted it to be a little bit bigger for one of my other projects. So I wanna show you how I was able to extend that envelope and make it a little bit bigger. So I cut out two, sorry, there's a weird fuzz. I'm gonna do that again. So I cut out two of the envelope dies. This is what they come out looking like, okay? And then I folded um, one side in and one up on each of them. So on this one, I did the left side and bottom up. And then on this one, I'm gonna do the right side in and bottom up so that they kind of look like this together, okay? And then I'm going to just trim off on one of these, the little tab, not on both of them, just on one, just like that, okay? And I'm going to adhere on this tab, I'm just gonna adhere those two sides together. So let me grab some adhesive. I'm just gonna put a little bit down on that little tab. And I'm just gonna slide that together, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to adhere all these sides down in the back. So I'll just put some adhesive down. Super quick and easy. Just like that, okay? So the bottoms and those side flaps are all adhered to the back. And then these front two flaps, I'm going to adhere down in front, okay? And I'm actually gonna use some glue dots to do that. One on each flap. Just like that, okay? and you have a little envelope that's a little bit longer than the little teensy one that comes. So that's a little trick to get a longer envelope. Let me show you the card I came up with using this idea. So you can see my longer envelope here. I stamped Happy Valentine's Day on the bottom there. 
and then all my little hearts coming up out of that letter. So cute. Okay, a few other ideas. Here's a card I made piecing together some of the scraps. Happy to have you in my life. And look at this glimmer paper. Is that not beautiful with this Valentine paper? I love it. And this is one of the ideas using those sweet little boxes. You can see there, so cute. Put a cute little treat in there for your Valentine. And here's one using our acetate boxes, our clear acetate boxes. So you can just, this box actually comes full like this. And if you cut it um, in half, or not quite half, but cut the top off, then you're able to have a top and a bottom and you can just slide that right on over to make a little box closure. We've actually done a video on this idea before. We can link that in the video notes below so you can go and check that out if you want details on how to make this box. But is that not so cute with this Sweet Talk designer series paper? I love it. So fun. So I've had so much fun playing with this Sweet Talk suite of products that's in the mini catalog. If you have any questions or if you need a catalog, make sure to visit us at stampandjill.com and we can get that for you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.